In 2009, the world was told some very interesting news. Viacom had purchased the rights to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for $60 million. And on September 28th, 2012, a brand new cartoon would air on Nickelodeon. They were created by accident. They were kept a secret. They were trained for battle. Booyakasha! And now, when their city is under siege, the fate of humanity is in the hands of these four turtles. According to Wikipedia, the pilot episodes got 3.9 million viewers, which is more than three times the population of Montana. Nobody lives in Montana. With a hit TV show and a pre-existing toy deal already secured with Playmates, action figures of the TMNT were flying off the shelves. But it wasn't just Playmates. And it wasn't just action figures. A new challenger would enter the TMNT toy space. And that challenger was Lego. We are at New York City Comic Con at the Lego booth, and they just revealed these awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys coming out this January. Thank yes. you so much for joining of us. Of course, thanks for coming by. We're excited to have you. We're really excited to show off Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're thrilled. In 2012, Lego made a promotional toy for New York Comic Con, a black Ninja Turtle minifigure dubbed Dark Turtle or Shadow Leonardo by fans. This minifig came with a tease for the official release of the Lego TMNT theme, January 2013. Meanwhile, at the Lego store in Rockefeller Center, there was a different promotion going on. Anybody that came in the store dressed as a turtle could walk out with this Krang minifig. It's not an actual figure of the Krang alien, that wouldn't come out till later. Instead what you got was a normal looking minifig with torn fabric printing that showed a little Krang controlling his robot body. It also had a January 2013 tease. The third and final TMNT promo set was not a minifigure at all, but Weirdly, a slice of brick-built pizza in a single-slice cardboard box. This set is based off the in-universe pizza joint Antonio's Pizza. A very fun promo. Oh, wait. Here we go. Do you hear that? Seven. It's 2013. And that tease on the back of the TMNT promo minifigs has finally come true. New from Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder and Dog Pound have captured Splinter. The turtles need to save their sensei. You could build the shell razor, store the weapons, load the trash cannon, drop the wheels, and speed off to rescue Splinter. Fire! The turtles help Splinter escape and chase down Shredder. Let's do this. All new Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, each set sold separately. <laughs> Wave 1 of the new TMNT LEGO theme included 6 sets and 1 poly bag. A pretty respectable size launch, but I personally think a couple more poly bags would have been the sweet spot. The one poly bag we did get though was Krang Laser Turret, and the first of our actual sets was Krang Lavascape, a small set with only 90 pieces. This 90 piece 3 figure set would probably be about $40 if it came out today. That fact isn't really relevant for this video, but I thought I would take a moment to ruin your day and remind you that LEGO has gotten so expensive is basically just a hobby for rich people who don't mind spending three paychecks on a box of plastic bits. <sighs> the depressing state of the economy aside, Krang Lab Escape is a nifty little set with three good minifigures. The most interesting of these figures is Krang. This is our only proper non-minifig Krang. If you wanted a brain with tentacles in Lego, this is the only one we got. Bit of a shame, Krang Prime would have been a great figure to get. The other figures are a pretty perfect foot soldier and Michelangelo. I think the shell and head molds Lego made for these turtle figs are pretty spot on. The printing is similarly great, but I would have loved to see the sports tape this incarnation has wrapped around their feet and wrists. It would have made them better, you know? That perfect LEGO foot soldier would appear in 6 out of the 12 sets LEGO produced for the Nickelodeon show, and a slightly different foot soldier appeared in a 7th set. So if you had all 12 of these cartoon sets, you would have a pretty respectable 8 minifigure foot soldier army. That is, assuming of course you only bought one of each set, which let's be honest, you bought a cart full of the Krang Lab Escape set and built yourself a double digit Krang and Foot Soldier army. The other sets that Incredible Foot Soldier came in for Wave 1 was Shredder's Dragon Bike, Stealth Shell in Pursuit, and Turtle Layer Attack. Shredder's Dragon Bike is also quite a small set, but has twice as many pieces as Krang Lab Escape. Most of those 198 pieces goes to Shredder's Dope Dragon Bike. Donatello is our turtle for this set, and we also get our first Shredder minifig in this weirdly bright red outfit. 
I much prefer the black suit they came out with later on, but all in all, this is a great LEGO Shredder, and his Dragon Bike rivals any of the Joker vehicles. Stealth Shell in Pursuit is another great little set. We get Raphael in this set, a nice little vehicle, and Fish Face. Fish Face is perfectly realized in this minifig. I love it. Turtle Layer Attack is the first of the big sets that came out in this wave, and is actually one of the three that I owned as a kid. This set had a bunch of good figures like Splinter, Leo and Raph, a Foot Soldier, and even Dog Pound. This was his appearance before he became Dog Pound, but it, it's still Dog Pound. Just human for now. I dug through a bunch of boxes of old Legos to find stuff for this set, and as hard as I looked, this was all I could find of my Splinter figure. Kinda sad. Shellraiser Street Chase is probably my favorite set in this wave, an almost two-scale Shellraiser and an officially Dog Pound minifig. The final set in this first wave was Baxter Robot Rampage, where we finally got an April figure. I wasn't able to find any sales figures for any of the TMNT sets, so whether they sold well or sold poorly, I don't know. I can say, however, that fans were very excited when this theme was announced, so I'm sure they got decent initial sales. New Lego Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set. The Krang is escaping with the power cell. You can team up with the turtles and Leatherhead to build the turtle saw. Load the missile, stow the gear, jump aboard, and dive into action. Look out! He's getting away! Fire! Our heroes send the Krang out to sea and save the power cell. All new LEGO Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. Each set sold separately. <laughs> Wave 2 released in 2014. It had five regular sets, Karai Bike Escape, Mutation Chamber Unleashed, T-Rocket Sky Strike, Turtle Sub Undersea Chase, Shredder's Layer Rescue, and our only junior set for the theme, Turtle Layer. These sets gave us Karai, Spider Bites, a Mutated April's Father, Leather Head, and that Black Suit Shredder I mentioned earlier. Two poly bags also came in this wave. Mikey's Mini Shell Razor and Flashback Shredder. All of these sets are super fun, but this would be the last we would see of the cartoon sets. The last we saw of the TMNT theme were three resets based on the 2014 Michael Bay produced Ninja Turtles movie. Now enter Mega Bloks. In 2003, the LEGO competitor Mega Bloks, now Mega Constructs, produced a series of TMNT toys. And that was it. Until 2015, when Megablox re-secured the rights to produce TMNT toys for the Nickelodeon show and upcoming Out of the Shadows movie. Building has mutated with Megablox Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pizza! You can build Mikey a new pizzeria, then build a turtle racer to blast the mouser. Unleash your turtle power action. Zip line to the top, then knock down the tower. You can build a shore layer and connect the pizzeria to expand your Mega Bloks Turtle World. Now trigger the action block to take out Tiger Claw. Build your Turtle World with Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Play sets each sold separately. In 2016, this new line would be released, and 12 year old me ate them up. These figures were the main TMNT toys I had as a kid. My middle school days were spent opening as many blind bags as I could, trying to collect all of the figures. I had a few LEGO Ninja Turtle sets, but I will die on the hill that Mega Bloks TMNT figures are leagues above LEGOs. The custom molded bodies, the incredible amount of articulation, and the sheer variety of figures are second to none. The Mega Bloks theme was later expanded beyond Out of the Shadows and the 2012 Nickelodeon show, and gave us a wave of incredible sets based on the classic 1987 cartoon. We definitely wouldn't have gotten these figures in LEGO. This is a luxury only a competitor could provide us. But you may be asking yourself, why did LEGO lose the license in the first place? Well, the only thing I was able to find on that is a very generic, Mega Bloks got the license instead. The reason that's not an actual reason though is because that's not how licenses work. Both LEGO and Playmates, and now Mega Constructs and Playmates, have the license to make TMNT toys, and a bunch of other companies have the license to make other Ninja Turtles products. So there's no reason why both LEGO and Mega Bloks couldn't have the license. The best I can assume, however, is that Mega Bloks made a deal where they would get the license over LEGO if they produced more toys and made everybody more money. This isn't confirmed or anything, but the sheer number of toys that Megablox made right after acquiring the license, it makes a lot of sense that a deal must have been made where Megablox would have the sole license over its biggest competitor. Regardless of the reason though, LEGO lost the TMNT license in 2015, where Megablox picked it up and did the absolute most with it. The LEGO sets were good, 
but the Mega Block sets were great. But on a personal note, can LEGO please make some Pokemon sets with custom molded Pokemon? Mega Constructs is doing this brick built thing and I really don't think it works. We would all be happier with some custom molded Pokemon figures and an Ash minifig. Do all the engagement things and I will be back soon with some more TMNT content. I've got a lot of ideas including a huge documentary style video about the complete history of everything Ninja Turtles. It's going to be several months of researching but I'm working on it. And hey, I have a couple of episodes of a lego star wars gameplay series out and not a lot of you are watching it go watch it i think it's pretty good and it would help me out a ton so would subscribing so please do that please